What's up, y'all? This is your boy T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that will make you free. Yes, y'all, I want to just continue to bring you spiritual and social awareness to your community. Hey, that's what we're here to do. But anyway, we're going to continue to start our, um, our briefing and we're going to continue to talk about how to conquer the wait process. Hey man, I know that there's somebody out there that is still waiting on God to 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 show up and 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 and, and to change some things in your life. And I know that some of us are waiting on God to change our finances or to change the situation at home or to 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 bring a loved one in or or or, or, or to 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 give you a better occupation. I mean, whatever you waiting on God for. We just got to continue to have faith, to have patience. And the third thing we're going to talk about, which we're going to talk about today, is you got to have a prayer life. We got to know how to pray, y'all. Yes, I'm telling you, you know, prayer changes things. I'm serious. You got to pray until something happens. Push. Somebody say push pushed. Yeah. You have to pray until something happens. Amen. And there is power in prayer. And a lot of people, a lot of us, are, we don't understand and realize that how much power there is in prayer. So first of all, we got to, we got to realize this, that prayer is a open communication to God. And, 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 and it's just like a relationship once you got a relationship with God um, and you got a relationship like it, 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 let, let, let's not even go spiritual like that let's talk about the relationship that you may have with a person in order for that relationship to be strong y'all have to communicate you have to talk to one another you have to uh, let one another know what you expect from one another amen and you got to put some kind of expectation or guidelines on your conversation and your communication so that you will know what to expect from that person and that person know what to expect from you. What well, The same thing with God. Prayer is a open relationship and communication with God. And what I love about prayer, you don't have to be a spe in a specific place to talk to God. Even the scripture tells us that when we pray, we need to go into our closet. And, 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 and what we ask God is secretly, he'll hear us and he'll reward us openly. You see what I'm saying? But see, the, the, the key of that is when we say closet, that's not talking about a physical closet. That's not talking about you find somewhere to go in your house like an actual physical closet and get in. That's not what Jesus was talking about. The closet is your heart. And, and so therefore, I, I'm going to teach you this morning how to pray because that's the third tool you need to use when we're talking about waiting on God. When we're in the waiting process, we got to pray. I mean, we got to pray. And not only do we pray uh, just asking God for the same thing over and over and over again, we got to pray in faith. We got to pray in patience, knowing that, God, I know you're going to show up. I know you're going to do this. But also, we can't just pray just because we want some. God wants you to talk to him just because you want to communicate with him. He don't want you to come to him every time you ask him for something. Oh, and you ask him for something. You always, you always ask him, ask him, ask him. God wants your heart. The Bible, the Bible said, the Bible said this, and I love the scripture when it says, you know, uh, uh, it tells us that that He will give you the desires of your, He will give you the desires of your heart. But but the key part of that is those who delight themselves in Him. See, that's the whole key. You got to delight yourself in God. Is God your main focus? Is pleasing him your main priority? Is, is getting closer to him your main objective? You got to think about this. Because he said in his word, 
those who delight themselves in him, he will give you the desires of your heart. And then another scripture tells us that he willing to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. But it's for those who love him. Amen. So, first of all, we talked about faith. Second, we talked about patience. Now, here we go talking about you need a prayer life. Amen. So, if you would, I want y'all to turn your Bibles to James, the fifth chapter, the 16th verse. Yes. Let's go ahead and go there. Let's go ahead and go there. James, fifth chapter, the 16th verse. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. And we're going to go to the B clause of that scripture. You know, we're not going to read the A clause. I'm going to read the B clause of that scripture. All right, because it's a two-party scripture. All right. And that scripture reads, <clears throat> The fervent, effective prayers of the righteous availeth much. I need you to hear this. The fervent, effective prayer of the righteous availeth much. Now, we're going to break this down for a moment. You know what I'm saying? The fervent, effective prayer of the righteous man, of a righteous man, availeth much. That simply means that when you pray, are you praying from your heart? When you pray, let me, and let me tell you something about prayer. Prayer, if you do it right, if you pray and you meditate with God, if you do it right, you can be at your job. You, you, you ain't even got to be making no no. You can go in your closet, in your heart, and just ask God for strength. But see, I want to teach you how to pray. Always start your prayer off with honor and reverence to him. L acknowledge him. Let him know that you are the supreme God. You are, you are my father. First, acknowledge that who he is. Give him that honor. Give him that, that reverence. Let him know, you know, I know you. I know, and, and see, there's and, and another thing. That's why it's good to know faith. Because what I say, faith comes by hearing. Hearing comes by the what? Word of God. That's why it is important to study to show thyself approval. Study the word of God because, see, when you pray, you want to make God move. So, no, you give him his word back. See, the Bible said his word will not come back unto him void. He, see, you see, see, he acknowledges his word. And he acknowledges if you know his word, because that's the only way we grow closer to God by knowing his word. We got to know what it is he done in his word, what it is he say, his promises. So therefore, we can we can tell him his promises. If he said it, he'll do it. But if you don't know what he's saying, how you going to ask God for something you don't even know what he said he'll do? That's why it's important to know his promises. You need to know that what he said, that the righteous will not be forsaken, nor seed begging bread. You need to know that God will forever be with us. Grace and mercy shall follow us. Uh, uh, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's Psalm 23, the end of Psalm 23. So you need to know his word. So therefore, when you pray to him, you can remind him of what he promised. But at, at, at the same time, when we praying, we got to make sure that we also trying our best and doing all we can to live out his promises. The Bible tells us in James that let us not be only hearers of the word, but also doers. We got to make sure that we doing what we know God want us to do in his word. And we got we can't not just do it just because we see it in the Bible. We got to do it because Jesus is in our heart. I love God in my heart. I love Jesus in my heart. So therefore, 
when we pray, we got to make sure that we acknowledge God and we got to make sure that we reverence him. And then on top of that, I, I like, I, I love it when I love to pray because see, when you pray, you can talk to God show sure enough. And, and, and I'm talking about showing up from your heart. Whatever you dealing with, you can talk to God about it. I'm telling you. I'm talking about whatever it is. I mean, it can be whatever. I mean, that's why the scripture said, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. In all your ways, acknowledge him. You talk to God. What if you dealing with if you dealing with if you dealing with being impatient, you tell God you're feeling impatient. If you dealing with you dealing with anger or you dealing with anything that's going to stop you from 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 living for God you need to tell God I'm dealing with this I'm I'm tempted right here that's why he gave us a model prayer and, and whenever and, and whenever you want to just get in that zone of praying ain't nothing wrong with reciting the model prayer amen and you know what the model prayer is the prayer the Lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with starting your prayer off like that because that's the model prayer. But the purpose is that we just pray. I know it sometimes it get hard to pray because so many things going on in your mind and, 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 and you trying to pray and then another thought come up, but you got to continue to pray. Sometimes you got to change your 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 your, your position in prayer. Sometimes you if, if you it's hard for you to pray um, at a certain time, switch that thing up. Pray while you pray while you're on your way to work. When you alert, pray, talk to God. I'm talking about you can talk to him too. And acknowledge your sins. Acknowledge acknowledge that God, I need you. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't fail him, fail them. Forgive me, Lord, but clean me up. Wipe, you know, wash me all over again. Get me back up, Lord. I want to do the right thing. So now I'm gonna leave you with this last scripture. First Thessalonians 5 and 17 said, Pray without ceasing. You can't stop praying. While you're in the waiting process, you got to pray. It, it's, it's without an open communication. And, and, and you may not think that God hears you in this waiting process. But he hears you. Especially if you're doing it from your heart. Don't wait to get the church in front of folk and, and go to pray. That, and that ain't, that, he, don't, he, don't, he don't desire us to do that. If we going to pray, we got to pray from the heart. We got to pray, give God our life in prayer. And then not only pray just every other day, pray all the time. Whenever you think, whenever you think you need to talk to God, talk to him. Just like we look at Facebook. <laughs> whenever we feel like we bored and want to go to Facebook, we go to it. Some of us on it all day long. That's how our prayer life need to be. We need to be on it all day long, talking to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? When you feel weak, I let him say, Lord, I feel weak right here. The person just said something to me. I, I, I'm feeling real weak right now. I feel like really going in. You need to talk to God. Tell him your problems. He hears you. I promise you he do. So, y'all, we on the third. We on the third tool. That's a prayer life, a powerful prayer life. We take time to give honor to God and pray and, and take out that time to get on our knees and pray. Uh, 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 take that time out of the day. The, the when you when I don't care if you eat a I don't eat, I don't care if you eat soda crackers. You at you thank God for them soda crackers. I don't, you be thankful. You know what I'm saying. Be grateful for everything. I mean for everything He's doing for you right now. Be content. Amen. So we talked about faith. We talked about patience. Now we're on prayer. You gotta keep your prayer life, y'all. You know, Amen. You got to have a good one. All right, so this is your boy T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that will make you free. And remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. I'm telling you, you need to try. I'm telling you, while you waiting on, while you in the waiting process, we also might need to check our, our connection. Do we have a relationship with God? Have we given our life to him yet? And if you hadn't given your life to Jesus, 
I dare you to try. I promise you, you will make everything all right. You got to just try him. And, and try him for a word. He, he'll show up and he'll be there. So, hey, man, this is your boy T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that will make you free. Y'all be blessed. Peace.